Charlotte students who, who have fallen into a bit of fame have been using it to give back to the community. Today, Channel 9's Gina Esposito was there as one student took some deserving young students on a shopping spree. Hey, guys. 18-year-old David Hogg asked James Martin Middle to select deserving students for a surprise shopping trip. Yeah, I ain't never had this. Hey, God always blessing people, so... <laughs> How are you feeling today? Are you surprised? I am, and I think that is a blessing too, that because a lot of kids don't get this. Hogg says he knows the struggle and wanted to do something for the school he passes by every day. I definitely had it rough throughout middle school, and I know that maybe some of these kids did too. They just went through the process of looking at those students that we've had conversations with and knowing some of the things that they need and so it made the selection process very easy and these are some really good students and they're deserving of whatever we can possibly give them. We've covered stories about Hogg before. He is the same name as a Parkland shooting survivor from Florida. It's confused people on the internet. Hogg now has more than 20,000 Twitter followers, many who've donated to his GoFundMe efforts to give back to our community. This time around, Hogg raised $2,000, so each kid had 200 bucks to spend at Marshall's. Many chose to shop for loved ones. I bought some Hatchimals and some Play-Doh for my little cousins because I was thinking about them. That kindness is what Hogg hoped the kids would get out of this. Sometimes kids just struggle with things and parents can't afford stuff, and it's just a blessing for it those kids to have that opportunity to get the stuff they really needed and they wanted. And I'm blessed that uh, my man David came out here and clutched him and his mom, and I appreciate you, bro, for real. In University City, I'm Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Yeah, that spirit of giving is a little bit contagious. Hogg also did this around Christmas a few years ago. He raised $3,000 to buy toys for kids at Levine Children's Hospital.